In this lesson, we're going to look at a couple more examples um, of division of fractions and mixed numbers. Um, in the last video, we learned the general rule for this, and so we'll just put it into practice a couple of times here. So we have uh, 4 fifths divided by 8 fifteenths. Now remember the rule is we're going to leave that first fraction alone and understand that dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal or flip. So we leave the 4 fifths alone, but we're going to multiply by the flip of 8 fifteenths, which is 15 eighths. And now we just have a multiplication problem, and we know that if we can, we want to pre-reduce. So I know that I can divide the 4 on top by 4 to get 1, and the 8 on bottom by 4 to get 2. I can divide the 5 on bottom by 5 to get 1, and the 15 by 5 on top to get 3. And so, of course, nothing else can cancel, so I just take 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 2 is 2, so my answer is 3 halves. All right, moving on to the next example, we have two mixed numbers we're dividing, and we understand that whenever we multiply mixed numbers, we have to turn them to improper fractions. We learned that in the last section. Um, and so since ultimately every division problem with fractions turns into a multiplication problem, we have to do the same thing. So 5 and 2 thirds first becomes uh, 5 times 3 is 15 plus 2 is 17, so 17 thirds divided by 7 times 9 is 63 plus 5 is 68 ninths. So we leave the first fraction alone, multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction. Now I can easily see that 3 and 9 can do some canceling. So 3 divided by 3 is 1, 9 divided by 3 is 3. Now 17 and 68. Um, you know, those are a little tougher. Now, 17 uh, is a prime number, so we understand that the only way that we can do any canceling uh, with 17 in the bottom is if 17 itself goes into 68. Um, and we also should at least check this number, 3, to see if 3 goes into 68, but we know it doesn't because 6 plus 8 is 14, and 14 is not divisible by 3, so we know 68 isn't either. And so, um, so even if you are skeptical of whether 17 goes into 68, since it's the only possibility, you need to at least check. So um, you try, go ahead and try, 68, 17 going into 68, and boy, if you had to guess, maybe you'd guess 4 or 5. I'll put a 4 in there. 4 times 7 is 28. Carry the 2. Looks like 17 does go into 68 exactly 4 times. So we'll go ahead and take 17 divided by 17 is 1. 68 divided by 17 is 4. So our answer here is 3 